Where, what do I do with my hands? I don't know what to do with my hands! <laughs> Hey everybody, this is James with, oh uh, shit, I forgot the name of the channel. Hey everybody, this is James with Respect the Drink. Uh, today we have a cream ale, and that is Little Kings, and I love Little Kings. They're so cool. Uh, very much a novelty drink uh, due to the size of the bottle. It's only a 7-ounce bottle, so I got two of them to do this review. Um, now, uh, this will be where a cut happens, yes. What do I always talk about before I pour? Oh, I told a story in the last one. I'm not telling a story this time. Okay, so every time I see Little Kings at the liquor store, I always think of this guy right here. Because he's little. He's a small, tiny person right there. Um, but they are really cool. They're very much novelty, but they... Uh, that was too many butts. The novelty is really cool. The They're the cutest bottles ever because they're so tiny and they're so cute so um this will be my second beer review hopefully you guys like it um oh yeah i'm supposed to say stuff like hit the subscribe button and comment and all that stuff so do that okay but we're gonna get right into doing this beer review these are twist off caps but i like using a bottle opener even when there's twist off twist ah uh, i don't speak well I like using a bottle opener even when there is twist off cap when there are twist I, english do you speak it? I like using a bottle opener even when there's a twist off cap because how many times do you get a bottle of beer and you're trying to twist that some bitch off and it like tears up your hands and shit. Um, so I was, I just go ahead and use the bottle opener just because, you know, whatever. But anyway, so we'll pop open the first one right there and give that a little bit of a pour. And then we'll pop open the second one. I always smell them before I actually pour them. I like to get that smell straight out of the bottle and then smell them in the glass just to see kind of the uh, difference in the aroma profile. So there we go. We've got Little Kings now in the glass. Um, as far as the look is concerned, uh, it's very uh, bubbly. It's got a lot of carbonation in it. And you can see the bubbles coming up out of it. Uh, but it's quite bubbly. Um, it's a pretty standard look for a cream ale. A little bit darker than your regular American pale ale. I keep saying ale. Regular American pale lager. It's a cream ale. It looks a little bit darker than your uh, pale lagers. Uh, it's slightly hazy, just a little bit. Um, not too much, though. It's pretty clear, but uh, but it does have that, that haze to it. Um, and uh, it looks really good. I do like these. Um, it poured a really nice head that dissipated quite fast. That's pretty normal for this type of beer, so nothing really offensive there. And uh, as far as the smell goes... You do get a little bit of a hop, but quite a bit of sweet. It smells pretty sweet. You get a lot of those cereal grain type smells. And corn. Uh, there's definitely a corn profile to this, I think. I think that's corn. Oh, and, ooh, and a little bit of citrus. I didn't pick up on that the first time. Yeah, there is citrus in there. So, um... It smells good. It smells really good. And it's kind of almost got a creamy smell to it, if that's a thing. Um, yeah, so it smells delicious. Um, I, I like to look. Oh, I didn't go over the presentation. The bottles are really cool. I mean, they're the novelty bottles. It's seven ounce bottles. That's just really cool. Label's awesome, um, but high marks for the bottles just because they're so tiny and, and cute and awesome. And they look like this guy. Okay, so now we'll give it a taste. Okay, definitely has a good taste. I like the flavor profile. It uh, it does get a little bit of the hop uh, on the back end, and that. 
the hop is very much mixed with a citrusy type of flavor. Um, I saw another review of this that described it as a limeish flavor, kind of like lime, and I don't remember who that was, but they, they really hit the nail on the head with that. It does have a, a tart lime uh, back taste on it, which is uh, really quite refreshing, and it's crisp and clean and uh, very, very good. Um, I do like this beer a lot. This is this is a good beer, and I love cream ales. I'm a, I'm a sucker for cream ales. They're one of my favorite. Um, I'll discuss cream ales when we do our... What was I going to call it? I don't remember what I was going to call it. Thinking. This is where a cut will be. There will be many cuts. Style profile. No, I don't like the I don't like the way that sounds. Style spotlight. What should I call it? Spotlight styles. Anyways, I really love cream ales. We'll talk about them a little bit more when I do uh, a style spotlight on specifically the cream ale. But a cream ale is almost like a hybrid between an ale and a lager. It's a, an ale that is brewed to be as it's brewed to have it, it's an a. No. It's an ale that's brewed to have the, the smooth. It's an ale that's brewed to have the smoothness of a lager. That's kind of the purpose of the cream ale. And I, I really do. I, I very much enjoy the cream ales. Now, the, the name cream ale comes mostly from the mouthfeel. And when you drink this, you do get kind of a creamy mouthfeel to it. It's a little dry, um, not in a bad way at all. Uh, but it definitely has that creamy feel to it. Yep, creamy feel, smooth. Um, it's got ample carbonation, but not overly carbonated. Uh, it's got a really good feel to it. So overall, this is a, an, an outstanding example of a cream ale. I really like, uh, I really like Little Kings. Now, uh, over to our notes. That was stupid. I might not do it like that. Over to our notes. Okay, so now we'll go to the notes. So, Little Kings, it is a cream ale. It is brewed by Shinling Brewing Company. I think that's how you say it. I'm honestly not sure. I'm terrible at pronouncing things. This is just horrible. Uh, but it's, uh, or it originated from Shinling Brewing Company in 1958. Um, Shinling was uh, a small brewery in Cincinnati, Ohio. It was bought out... A few years ago, I'm not exactly sure. I should have wrote that down because I, I, I do research on the beers before I review them and I write down all this stuff about them and sometimes I forget little details. But it was bought out by Hudipol, assuming that's how you say that, I have no idea, um, Brewing Company, but it's actually brewed at Christian Moreland uh, Brewing Company. Uh, so there's, there's really three companies involved here, but uh, it originated with uh, Schindling in Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, it's 5.5% ABV, and it's got 20 IBUs, so it's not overly bitter at all. And uh, so the scores, Beer Advocate scores it at a 70, which is okay. The Bros score it at an 80, which is good. Draft Magazine scores it at an 83, and Rate Beer gives it a 1 for style and a 5 overall, which is horrendously bad, and Rate Beer should really be ashamed of themselves for that rating. I don't understand that at all. Um, the Beer Advocate average is 2.99 out of 5, and that's based off of uh, 349 ratings. Uh, Rate Beer has it at a 2.17 out of 5. Uh, that's based off of 327 ratings and untapped has it at three out of five which is based off of 6391 ratings so it's rated pretty middle road um not rated horrible not rated great um i if i were doing ratings i might give it a little bit higher than that but uh, as you guys will find in these beer reviews i know this is just my second one i don't like rating them uh, because I feel like I'm telling you what you need to like. And that's not how I roll. Uh, I will just tell you whether or not I like it. And I fucking love it. I love Little Kings. I love cream ales, just in general. So, um, if you find these little, uh, cute little bottles at your local liquor store, uh, pick, pick them up because they're really good. I think they come in, uh, packs of eight because obviously seven ounce bottles, you're not going to, a six pack of seven ounce bottles is stupid. But <laughs> an eight pack actually makes makes a little bit more sense. So you pick one of these up. Uh, oh hell, I don't even remember how much they cost, but they weren't super expensive. Uh, it's a good um, economy class beer, 
maybe slightly higher than economy class, but it's 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 a good beer. So pick some up, go check it out. Uh, keep the bottle like I'm gonna do because it's just really cute and awesome. And uh, as always, respect the drink. Nope, that's not how we say it. And as always, taste the drink, respect the drink. So I just bought a thesaurus, and when I got it home, every page was blank. Please don't. Now I have no words to describe my anger. God, you're stupid. What? I'm just trying to bring joy to the people. Well, you don't. All right, well, never mind her. You guys know what to do at this point. There is a subscribe button. Click it, that way you can see more of these videos. Also, special thanks to my wife for being my videographer. I really appreciate it, even though you called me stupid. But to be fair, you're not wrong.